Hello adventurers, welcome to this series of old school RuneScape videos where we explore everything about the game of course not all in one go. In this video we will be learning about the game's necklace and all about it. The game's necklace is probably the most used of all the teleportation jewelry because of one teleport, but we'll discuss that later. The game's necklace was introduced on November 24th. 2004 with the Birdhorp Games Room update where a variety of games can be played between players at the Games Room located downstairs in Birthrope Castle. Hence the name of the necklace. You can now find these games at the Grand Exchange and almost every pub and bar around the game. In order to make a game's necklace, you will need a sapphire necklace. This can be made with one uncut sapphire, a gold bar, and necklace mold while at one of Gilinor's many furnaces. If you click on a furnace, a window will open giving you a prompt to make a slew of other jewelry, but because we have the ingredients in our inventory, the sapphire necklace will be shown. Once made, you will gain 55 crafting experience. To gain access to the teleports, the necklace must be enchanted. The player will need a magic level of 7 using the level 1 enchant located in the spell book, as well as 1 cosmic rune and 1 water rune, and will grant 17.5 magic experience to the player. When worn the game's necklace doesn't give any boosted stats whatsoever, but does give a plus 1 to your fashion scape, 1 being the worst. The necklace holds 8 charges, using up 1 charge for every time it is used, the game's necklace holds five different teleports to help you get around the land of RuneScape. They are Birthrope, Barbarian Outpost, Corporeal Beast, Tears of Guthix, and the Wintertoad Camp. The necklace itself can be sold to a general store for 420 gold pieces, also known as GP. It also gives 420 GP if low alchemy is cast upon it, when high alt 630 GP is given to the player. The necklace can be sold on the Grand Exchange or to other players for 987 GP. Once the game's necklace has lost a charge, it can no longer be sold on the Grand Exchange. You can combine other games' necklaces together to consolidate the charges, or more commonly known in-game as decanting, of partially used necklaces by talking to Murky Mad, who is standing on the southeast side of the Grand Exchange. This goes for other teleportation jewelry as well. The game's necklace is only dropped by level 40, 63, 72, and 77 skeletons in Tarn's lair with a 1 out of 64 rarity. Selecting to teleport to Birthrope will get you the respective teleport north of the city Talverly. This is where the game's room is located alongside many of other activities such as the Warrior's Guild, the Toad and Chicken Bar which holds the Rouge's Den located in the basement, and one of the first Slayer Master's Turiel you will encounter, as well as a number of quests. By teleporting to the Barbarian Outpost using the game's necklace you will be at the outside of the minigame known as Barbarian Assault where one of the most powerful non-tradable combat items are obtained, the Fighter Torso. This teleport is known for having one of the closest tellers to a bank. Some other activities around the area are the Barbarian Agility Course and a pond that is known for Barbarian Fishing. There are also a lot of quests that can be completed here to get your combat levels up very quickly one being the Waterfall Quest. As I said at the beginning of the video, the one teleport that is used by many high-level players is the Corporeal Beast Teleport, which will get you to the Corporeal Beast Dungeon located in the wilderness. It is the home to a level 785 Supernatural Horror. It is slain by players in hopes of getting a sigil to make one of RuneScape's most powerful and expensive shields, the Elysian Shield. The Tears of Guthix teleport is unlocked after the quest Tears of Guthix and is a mini game known for giving free runecrafting experience, but it doesn't have to be all runecrafting experience. The game consists of gathering tears that drip from a wall into a bowl and you have a set time to collect as many as possible. At the end of the game the player will receive an amount of experience in their lowest skill. The last teleport the game's necklace holds is the Winter Toad Camp. This teleport will get you to the northernmost part of the continent of Zia. The minigame itself is known for killing a ton of hardcore Iron Men, also known for the supply crates, and a pet phoenix, also the best in Slot Mage Book for Fire, spells the Tomb of Fire. 
The game's necklace is also used in the construction skill in the player's owned house achievement gallery room. The player can create a basic jewelry box at level 81 construction. Constructed with one bolt of cloth, one steel bar, three fully charged games necklaces, and three fully charged rings of dueling granting the player 605 experience in construction and unlimited uses of the game's necklace itself alongside the rings of dueling. That's all I have for today's video, but if you enjoyed this type of content, subscribe and like or dislike as it does help with visibility and lets me know your opinion on the video itself. If you have a suggestion of what I should make a video on next, leave a comment. If you don't have a suggestion, leave your best RuneScape joke in the comments. I love to hear them. This is All Ranger and it'll catch you next time.